In this video, we will continue with the factor theorem. You will find this on page 385 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Cubic expressions. Factorize this quadratic equation expression by using the factor theorem. Okay, we can use the factor theorem by trial and error to find a linear factor of this. Note that A must be a factor of the coefficient of the leading term 2x to the power 3. And B, that A, referring to that A, and B must be a factor of the constant term negative 2. Consider the factors of the constant term and the factors of the coefficient of the leading term. The positive and the negative factor of 2 are, okay, it's now both, so it's, it's plus minus 1 and plus minus 2. Therefore, these the following expressions. So, x plus 1, x minus 1, x plus 2, x minus 2, 2x plus 1. So, let fx equals this expression, this cubic expression. Then, test whether this is a factor. So, you substitute. No, you must get an answer of zero. So, it's not a factor. Then, test this one. Oh, this one is a factor because the answer is zero. And now, you can do division. Or, into this, either the long method or the short method. I think, in this case, the short method is very good because it spares a lot of time. And then, after I did that, I take this quadratic expression and I just factorize it again. Okay, you can also use the factor theorem again to find another factor, but that's too long. Just, just factorize it with your ordinary level knowledge. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I just want you to do number A. I don't think it, you need a lot of practice, but I think it's very straightforward. So, I'm just going to do number A. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to start by calling this fx, this is number a, fx, and I take my quadratic expression, okay, now because this is 2, what I'm usually, usually I start with x plus 1, because 1 and 2 is a factor, or x minus 1, and, and so I go. You can even put it, but I think sometimes it's, be, it's better just to write it quickly down. So for this one, remember, I will put f minus 1, and for this one, if I put this equals 0, it's 1. So let's just quickly test. So if I minus 1, it's going to be 2 minus 1, 3, plus 5 minus 1 squared. Now oh, let's just get that pen correct. Plus minus 1 minus 2. And that, now if I, this is negative, so it's negative 2, positive, so plus 5 minus 1 minus 2. So if I'm looking at this, I see this is, ne oh, this one is excellent. I think this one is going to work. So because this is 0. So I say, therefore, and don't make a mistake, it's not x minus 1, x plus 1 is a factor. Of fx. And now I'm not going to do long, I'm going to do the short because I prefer that you do the short one in this case because it's going to spare a lot of time. And I'm just, with, but you can do long division. So then I'm just basically going to write here x plus 1, get that been correct? Okay, well, not correct. x plus 1, and then my this one, 2 x3 plus 5x squared plus x minus 2. And then if I divide, I get 2x squared. And then I multiply, so I get 2x3, and I multiply, and I get 2x squared. And then I draw the line. Then I change the signs, so negative, because I subtract. So this is nothing. 5 minus 2, what will that be? 3x squared. 
And if I divide, that will be 3x. And then I multiply, so it's 3x squared. I multiply plus 3x. I bring down plus x. I draw the line. I change the signs, so this is negative. This is negative. Let's move it up a little bit. Okay, so I cancel, so this is negative 2x. If I divide, I get negative 2. If I multiply, it's negative 2x, multiply negative 2. Bring that negative 2 down, change the signs. Now, if you don't get 0, you made a mistake. Okay, and it seems to me, I said that I want to do the short way, and then because I draw the lines like this, I did the long way. Okay, <laughs> sorry, uh, it's a bit late in the day. Okay, so I did the long way. The next one I will do, or let's just quickly do the short way also. Okay, sometimes I will correct the video and redo it, and sometimes it's also fine just doing it, but don't do it on both. So either do the long or the short, please, not on both. So I'm quickly going to do it just on both. So I'm taking that and I write it down. So it's going to be 2, 5, 1, negative 2. And this is going to be negative 1, just like I did. Then I bring this one down and it's 2. So then this is negative 2 and this is 3. And this is negative 3 and this is negative 2. And this is positive 2. So if it's correct, this must give you a 0. And now, you just start always from here. So this is now x. This is 1 to the power 1. And this is to the power 2. And if there's no sign, it's plus. And can you see it's exactly there? So basically, I'm ending now with the x plus 1, that's the factor. And then the quadratic, which is the 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. And then I'm going to factorize again, and I'm going to say 2 and 1, uh, 2 and 1. So let's just see, because this is in group B, I must subtract, so 4 minus 1 is 3. The biggest over cross product, product will get a positive, this sign, this a negative, x, x. So therefore, write this one, and write this, x plus 2 and 2x minus 1. Again, it doesn't matter what bracket stands where, as long as the inside of the brackets is exactly the same, then you are correct. And there I factorized cubic expression.